Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video, and today, uh, we are continuing our playthrough of Pokemon Platinum, our Nuzlocke playthrough of Pokemon Platinum, in fact. Uh, in the last episode, we didn't do much, uh, we only got our first Pokemon, which we can now take a proper look at. So, Piplup, male, we haven't had time to name people up yet. We will do that in this episode. And I actually had already decided on a nickname before we even started this. But you guys will have to wait to find out what that is. Right, a careful nature. Um, I think that is plus special defense, isn't it? Uh, which, because we checked last episode and the special defense was the highest. Is that... <coughs> is that spe plus special defense... And minus... Is it minus special attack? He does have low special attack. And I thought it was minus special attack. I'll have to check. I'll show on screen now. What, um... What it is. Um... Okay, so we're going up to Sandgem Town. With this guy. Uh, self. Wait, so are we going to- wait, I thought we were going to Sandgem Town. Are we going this way? He did- yeah, oh yeah, we have to- There's- there's the, that thing with, uh, the Team Galactic member, I forgot about that. Alright, let's go. Alright, we don't have any Pokeballs. We have no Pokeballs. Which means our Nuzlocke hasn't begun, but... We can't catch any Pokemon. <sighs> Yes, 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 boring, boring, hmm, down I go, hmm, yes, don't know why I'm making him sound like Snape here, um, yeah, alright, Kion, did he just hear a cry, did you guys just hear a cry, I didn't hear it, no, <laughs> um, I don't, I can't hear the audio in this game, so, yeah, because I have to record it, and I can't really listen to it and record it at the same time without, like, even more setup. I didn't particularly want to do that. By the way, I am bulk recording these episodes. I'm not sure if I mentioned that last episode or not. But I'm bulk recording these things. Also, we got the running shoes last time. So we can run around now. Which is really useful. Um, Alright, uh, let's try not encounter too many Pokemon here. The last patch of grass. Well, there's another big bit of grass, but the last patch of grass. This does not count as our first encounter, because we don't have Pokeballs yet. I think I am going to knock it out, though. Because Piplup can always use some XP. Uh, get him up uh, a bit on these level 2 Bidoofs and Stylers. Alright, the wild Bidoofs fainted. Bidoofs. <laughs> Bidoof fainted. By the way, the pl I think the plural of every Pokemon is um is just its name again. All right, I'm getting I'm getting a potion. I actually I actually didn't know about this when I played Pokemon Diamond, and I got it like after I'd finished the main game. I just went back here and talked to this person, and they gave me a potion, and I was just like, well, that could have been useful at the start of the game, but <sighs> yeah. But I got it this time, so it's fine. Go, Pipla! Alright, knock out this other Bidoof. Should be another two hit KO. Oh, wow. Maybe not. Wow. Okay. That was unfortunate. Well, it wasn't really unfortunate, it was just surprising. Maybe that other Bidoof just was really low defense and this one's really high defense. Who knows? Can't be too much differentiation between. Two Pokemon of the same level in the same grass. Alright. Ah, yes, Dawn. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. There it is, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go, Thud. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Keeps just running out of the lab and just running into us. 
Wow. Yeah, let's go inside. <laughs> Self is just too weird for her. Alright. Up we go. We are going to name our Pokemon now, and you'll be able to find out what my name for it is. Yep. Of course it does. It's just one, two battle. Three battles, in fact. Two Bidoofs and one... Uh... Tatuig. Alright, you guys finally get to find out what name I have decided upon. And first, I'm going to tell you what naming theme I've decided upon. So every single Pokemon that I catch in this series, I am going to name after something sweet, as in food, not like flowers. I mean like, like uh, from cake to Kit Kats to custard to who knows what. And that includes Sherbet's. So yeah, that's what my name for this wonderful little bird, <laughs> penguin I guess, is going to be Sherbert. Oh, where's that tea? Ah, uh, right. Sherbert! Yes! Ta-da! We now have Sherbert. Uh, yes, I am happy with that nickname. Alright. Yeah. Well, um, I've astounded him twice, so I must be an amazing Pokemon trainer. I'm so glad you're kind to put towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd just have to... Oh, I just can't say it. I love that line. That's just such an amazing line. Uh, good off, Dawn. Dawn. Dawn is such a good character. I loved her in the anime. I'm so glad they, like... Had her in so many seasons as well. Like, not as much as other. Uh, uh, yes, I will. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention. Just <laughs> ranting about Dawn. Alright, um. Yeah. We got the Pokedex. Uh. The Pokemon Index? I think that is. Is that the Pokemon Index? Um. I think it's, it's sometimes called the Pokemon Encyclopedia, but I think it's officially the Pokemon Index. Because it's the Pokédex, Pokémon Index. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh, yeah, don't lie. If you'd chosen Chimchar, then we would have the same Pokémon. No, we wouldn't. You'd have a different Pokémon. If we'd chosen Chimchar, then you would have a Turtwig. Alright. Well, let's just quickly save, because I haven't saved since, uh, never. I've never saved. First save in the game. Yay! Alright. We have three Pokemon on Pokedex already. Brilliant. Um, now what what uh, Dawn's off to do now is she's gonna wait by that route to give us Pokeballs. But I don't want to uh, do that because I want to guarantee that our first catch on that route is a Shinx. Because I really want a Shinx. I mean, who wouldn't want a Shinx? It'll come in so amazingly useful. And also, if we get... Uh, oh, well, she's gonna show, she's gonna show me out around the town first. Uh, but, like... Oh, I can take TM 27, what's that? Return! Ah, yeah. Good. Alright, once we've got max friendship, we can teach one of the uh, Pokemon that. Um... Hmm, I'm not sure if I'll save that or not. That is a really good move. Probably will save that. But, um, I want to guarantee that I get Shinx. And I also want to guarantee that I get as many couches as I can. And if I get a Bidoof or a Starly in that grass up there, then I will not be able to get, uh, three couches. Because there's only Bidoof and Starly in the other two routes. And, um... So I'm gonna go back to the whatever the route I've forgotten the name of the route that we just went from and Lake Verity and get a um get a new capture. Uh do I need to heal my Pokemon the Pokemon Center? Now? I think he's fine. He's only taken uh three damage. So three out of twenty two, but three. 
Alright, let's get our first Pokeball from here instead of Dawn. I'm gonna get 10 so I get a free Premier Ball. Yeah! Alright. Let's go. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna go get my first encounter. Let's find out who the first friend to uh, Sherbert will be. Oh, there we go. First grass patch. Really excited. Cricketot? Did they. Is it different in Pla Platinum? I had no idea you could get a Cricketot here. Whoa. Well, we might not be guaranteed a Shinx then. Oh my word. I had no idea you could get a Cricketot here. Also, I didn't need to weaken it. There we go. Oh, welcome to the team, uh, female Cricketots. Wow, I... I was not expecting that. I was honestly not expecting that. Well, she was very excited to prove me wrong about the only Starlies and Bidoofs. Wow. Um... What am I gonna... What am I gonna name this thing? Because I had, like... I hadn't thought of any names that I might name a Cricketot. Hmm. Well, huh. Cricketot... Cr crickets are like bugs and they have like, uh, ectoskeletons. Which makes them like, if you step on them, then they make like a crunchy sound. And there is a chocolate bar called a crunchy. <laughs> so, bit odd reasoning, but let's name him her, rather. Let's name her Crunchy. Welcome to the team, Crunchy. I think that's how you need to say it, uh, spell Crunchy, as in the chocolate bar. Well, that's how we're naming it anyway. Alright. Welcome. What do you have? Um, you have Growl and Bide. Wow. Not the best moveset. Shed skin might come in useful. But, um, yeah. Let's, let's, let's go then. Uh, to Lake Verity. I'm not sure what we'll get then. We might get a bit of uh, Lake Verity and not get a Starly. But there are loads of Starlies around. I don't, don't particularly want a bit of, but that will... Huh. Well, let me see. We might not. E it might not even be a Starly or a bit of. Maybe we something completely different. No, it's a bit of. All right. Well, since we didn't need a uh, any anything weakened to catch the. The, um, Cricket Art, I doubt we'll need anything we can to catch this Bidoof. So, let's go. One, two... Oh, wow! Huh. Feisty little thing, huh? Okay. Let's pound. And a pound. Um... Uh, wait a second. Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry. Just had to do something there. Um, right, let's, uh, did I, wait, what did it just do? Did it take down or something? Or did I click, click pound? I can't remember what I did. Oh, well, um, let's pound. Hopefully I don't take it out. Please don't take it out. Okay. Wait, I, wait, it's, uh, Bidoof can't use takedown. Um, not at this level anyway. I don't think it can learn it at all, really. But, uh, let's, let's, let's send out a Pokeball, whatever. Throw a Pokeball, yes. I can't believe we just spent two Pokeballs on a video honestly. Oh well. We got it. So, it's fine. Alright, um... Yes, I'd like to give a nickname, because we have to give a nickname. Oh, and what I'm recording with, which is a phone, is on low battery right now. So I'm going to have to take a break in between episodes, but... We're gonna name you... Fudge, because that's the obvious name for a Bidoof when I'm naming in this naming scheme. Or even without. We're just gonna name you Fudge. Just, just, you're just Fudge. You're Fudge. You're destined to be Fudge. You are Fudge. <laughs> okay. Uh... Wow, um, let's go, let's go see what our final um, encounter will be, our fourth Pokemon. 
Because uh, I planned for it to be guaranteed to be a Hinx, but it, hmm, it might not be. See, Cricketots. I, I had no idea you could get Cricketots in this grass. Because in, in Diamond uh, and Pearl, you can not get Cricketots in this grass. You can only get Bidoof's and Starlies. So the fact you can get Crocodots here is bewildering to me. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just level up Sherbert one level because he's so close and I think he deserves it. Critical hit! Well done, Sherbert! That is, that is, that's brilliant. Sherbert's amazing. I already love Sherbert. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um... Let's go and go. All right, let's let's go get taught how to catch a Pokemon. Hello, Dawn. Otterpenny, you're here. Okay. Um. All right, let's just. Da, 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 da. Uh, am I supposed to be going with her? I don't know, I just didn't hear her. Yeah, okay, and... Oh! Oh! I have to tell my family I'm going. Oh, okay. Well, I was unaware that I had to do that. Right, um... Wait. Is this the... This is Sand Jam Town. Sorry. Uh, I have to go back to Little Roots. Alright, um, that was unexpected. You know what, let's do that next episode, because, yeah. Wow. I was unaware that you had to go to, uh, go back to your family. I was unaware that you had, that you could catch crit hearts here. Just, wow. Okay. Learning new things every day. As always, I'm Otto Penny, and I'm here to say goodbye.